Guess what? The two-state solution regarding Israel is a false concept. Israel has always offered the two-state solution, and the Palestinians have never accepted it. It was given in 1947, and a fair partition was offered, which the Palestinians rejected. Then they fought a war to annihilate Israel and lost. With each repeated war, they have lost territory, and if there is a two-state solution, they will probably have less land. They were given Gaza also, and all Israelites left. They could do what they wanted. Uh, they had complete autonomy. Uh, but instead of working you know, toward self-sufficiency, they, they simply mainly strive to find ways to uh, level Israel. Hamas constitution simply doesn't mention Israel. They have no wish for a two-state solution. They will not even admit that Israel exists. If there, yet yeah, there is hope. Uh, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, a couple of other Arab states have recognized Israel. They want to work with Israel. They are all Sunni, not Shia Muslim states. Iran is Shia. 90% of Muslim states are Sunni. I don't know why that makes a difference, but Israel only wants to help. They want a higher standard of living in the whole region. The Palestinians seem to always portray themselves as victims. They, uh, maybe that's what other Muslim countries want them to do. The stupidity, fascism, lies of those demonstrating uh, for the Palestinian cause in high schools, universities all over the world is breathtaking. Maybe I'm going overboard, but I'm angry and I pray for Jews all over the world. Jews lived in Palestine for over 1,500 to 2,000 years, from about 1,500 B.C. to 70 A.D., when they were thrown out by the Romans who destroyed Jerusalem or something. Uh, there have always been quite a few Jews in Palestine. I think there were over 100,000 even in the 30s. I may be wrong, but exactly. Uh, anyhow, there were they weren't taking it from the Arabs. There were as many Jews in, as Arabs in Palestine in 1947, or at any rate, there were a very large number of Jews. They didn't throw the Arabs out. The Arabs left of their own accord because they refused to live in a state that was, was largely Jewish. Uh, the Jews asked for a two-state solution. Uh, the initial partition gave more land to the Palestinian and the Arabs than the Jews, um, and they would have had a, a complete autonomy, but the Arabs refused and started a war in 1948. Uh, the left is calling the Jews of Israel fascists. This is hilarious. The left are the fascists. A lot of them seem to want to kill Jews. Uh, some statistics. Uh, there is, was an increase in the Jewish population in historical Palestine. There was a Balfour Declaration, 1914-1915. Yeah, prom British promised support for the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. Uh, there was a rapid increase of the Jewish immigration into Palestine, and this met with protests from the Arab population. In 1947, the United Nations passed a partition plan, UN Resolution 181, that would divide Palestine into a Jewish state and an Arab state, an idea originally proposed by the British government a decade earlier. And of course, it was rejected by the Arabs. Um, and there is a map of this Palestinian plan in Google, and it looks pretty fair to me. 1948-1948, uh, nine war. Jordan took control of the West Bank and Egypt took control of the Gaza Strip. Uh, the Muslims simply don't want a Jewish state period. There are Muslim states, Iran, Iraq, etc., but no Arab nation will tolerate a Jewish state. I guess you could call that anti-Semitism. Uh, Zionism is the wish for a Jewish state. Uh, I guess anti-Zionism is called anti-Semitic. I think the Jews of Israel have every right to defend their homeland, Israel. Uh, there are about 9 million citizens of Israel. Uh, about 2 million of them are Arab Muslim, and they can own land, vote, etc., just like the Jews. Uh, the Arabs of Saudi Arabia 
may be willing to make peace with Israel, uh, with the era of Abraham Accords. Uh, Saudi Arabia is a Sunni Muslim country. Iran, uh, which is a Shia Muslim country, can't stand this peace agreement. Uh, Hamas, which is largely funded by Iran, and which is a, uh, they can't stand the fact that Saudi Arabia would make a peace agreement with Israel and other Arab states were also doing this. So they just started a war. 90% uh, of all Muslim countries in the Middle East are Sunni. Uh, the Abraham Accords between Israel uh, and the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain, September 15, 2020, both recognized Israel's sovereignty, establishing full diplomatic relations under the Trump administration. December 2020, Israel and Morocco normalized, normalization was signed. January 2021, Israel-Sudan normalization, normalization. Right now, last month, Biden was dealing with Saudi Arabia concerning agreements between them and Israel. Uh, China is also getting involved. Much of the world seems to be anti-Semitic, but Israel has many allies. Much of the right-wing Republicans, uh, Trump, most Catholics, most Evangelicals, Biden, and the U.S. for the most part. Uh, there is a chance that this may eventually lead to most Muslim, uh, Sunni Muslim nations and most of the rest of the world making peace with Israel. Uh, I'm grossly over-optimistic, especially now I know. Thank you.